Welcome to another session of A Day in the Life of DevRel. I'll be performing DevRel tasks and you can follow along. The broader goal here is to prepare materials intended to be used by Hackathon participants at an upcoming ETH Global Hackathon. For this task, I will be continuing on from the previous one, continuing to write more of this doc. In this video, I will be working in fast forward mode, pausing occasionally to explain anything significant. Then we'll have a recap at the end. Let's begin. Note that the intent here with the code examples is not to provide working code or for the participants to follow along necessarily. We'll leave that to a dedicated section where there is a tutorial. The intent here is to act as a sample so the reader can get a taste for how straightforward the APIs or the code they need to write will be. The intent with the to-do underscore example is uh, I've thought of an idea, but also know that I need to keep focused on the main task at hand and not get sidetracked into something that's potentially, a, well, that's, that's a rabbit hole. But therefore, I'm leaving a note for myself to come back to this later.
Here, I'm thinking about the target persona. Which kind of developer is reading this document? I'm expecting them to mostly be experienced Web3 developers. So unlike the HTS and HTS sections, they're likely to click on the link above and jump straight into it. But I am adding this note that bit here to highlight that if they stay on this page, there will be a tailor-made tutorial for them. So keeping them on track. Again, considering the type of developer, the section about JSON RPC is going to be very important. For an experienced Web3 developer who is probably skimming or glossing over most of this document, the, this section is probably one where they're actually, uh, where they're actively going to seek it out, right? Or otherwise stop and scrutinize. They're likely to use this to assess whether they think that Hedera is actually EVM compatible. Since Hedera is not an Ethereum layer 2, they may hold that preconceived notion. And this section has an additional sole objective to dispel them of that myth. Here, I'm creating a table to state in a single spot what all the different ways to interact with Hedera are. With Ethereum and various Ethereum layer 2 uh, networks, you get JSON RPC and that's it. But with Hedera, due to a combination of having its own native APIs that predate the addition of the EVM to it, plus the fact that the nodes which run Hashgraph do not store any blocks, Hedera has three separate APIs, right? Um, and so when I first started using Hedera with an EVM developer background, this actually befuddled me. And I wish that someone had compiled this information like this into a single table um, as a reference. So now I'm paying it forward to the next round of EVM developers trying out Hedera for the first time. The Governing Council does not have very much to do with developers, but it is still an important component of the network that has to be covered. My thought process here is to highlight the parts of how the Council operates where, with where they overlap with forms of decentralized governance, for example with DAOs, and providing cryptographic proof of decisions made is one thing. It's a less well-known part, so I thought I'd highlight this.
In this section, the most important thing to highlight are the similarities between HRPs and EIPs. Because experienced web series developers, especially those who have developed on EVM networks, will certainly know what EIPs are, so that helps with the explanation. Taking screenshots for the ecosystem section is actually quite hard. There are so many that even when fully zoomed out, I couldn't get them to fit onto a single screen. Okay, done with this task. Let's do a recap now. I started off by taking a few screenshots from MetaMask to show how to configure Hedera testnet in its settings. Next, I continued writing this doc using materials from all the tabs I already had open during the research stage. One of the cool things about this is that I remember seeing this particular depiction of the hash graph as a data structure from before there was even a Hedera, the DLT. I was at a meetup in 2017 where Mance uh, was presenting potential applications of this new consensus algorithm and at that time there was no DLT attached to it. So it's nice to come full circle and be able to use the same image in dev education materials that I'm creating. Alright, that's it for this task. We'll catch you in the next one.